What's going on YouTube? Chaos Shatty's back with another video. Today's video is gonna be a Lightroom tutorial and this is gonna be editing an unexposed picture using a teal and orange effect. It's sort of like the effect that I use in all of my videos. I know y'all want that. And that's also a tutorial that I have coming soon. So stick around for that. And before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. And also, leave me a thumbs up, man. I really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So right here, as you can see, it's a picture that I took when I was in New York a couple weeks ago. And as you can see, it's underexposed. So first, I'm gonna start off boosting the exposure up to about plus two. And then I'm gonna up the contrast a little bit. And then I'm gonna start with upping my shadows. Then I'm gonna drop my blacks down to about 74. And then to bring back that detail in the sky, I'm gonna drop my highlights all the way down. And then I'm gonna drop my whites down. Then I'm gonna up my clarity up to about 20, nah, about, about 30 is good. So then I'm gonna go down to my tone curves and this is gonna give me that moody look, that moody effect. I'm gonna do this right here, up this right here. Then I'm gonna make another pin about a little under halfway, drop that down. Then I'll make me another pin midway up, bring that back up like that. And then this is how you get that teal and orange effect that I'll be putting on all my videos and stuff like that. I'm gonna take this, we're gonna come down to camera calibration and I'm gonna up the hue in the red primary all the way up to about uh, 80. Then I'm gonna drop the blue primary down. I'll just drop it all the way down. And as you can see, you get that blue look um, at the bottom and that orange look at the top. That's the look everybody be going to. They always tell me to do tutorials on that. So here you go. So that looks good. So we're gonna come back up to lens correction, enable the profile correction, cause I don't want all that vignette. Remove chromatic aberration. And then we're gonna play with our sharpening a little bit. Make it a little sharp. And it looks kinda like bright for my liking, so I'm gonna go up to exposure again and then drop that down a little bit. Just like that. And then drop my whites down. The shadows will come down just Nah, just gonna, we're gonna put that up a little bit. We can put the contrast up a little bit too. And let me play with the temperature. Make it a little bluer. And there you have it, just right. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give me a like, comment, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll catch you on the next video.